today and we are live okay that marker is not gonna do the trick where did my red marker go all right y'all we are about to get started I lost my marker which does not make me very very happy because it was right here oh well we're going to have to go on without it, and maybe, just maybe, it'll pop up later. So, all right, we are going to get started. Hi, guys, how are you? All right, we, let me refresh the screen here. I hope everybody's having a great, great day today. Oh, it has been a whirlwind day here. We're about to leave for vacation tomorrow. Um, the Itos are staying behind, but we're headed out for vacation, so I'm trying to get the last minute of like my custom orders done. Hi Michelle, how are you sweetheart? All right, everybody's staying dry. I know we have some rain coming in later on this afternoon. I really would like to know where red, my red marker is. I found my blue marker a little bit too late. I kind of wish I would have found my blue marker a little bit earlier. Eh, I gotta fix the sign later. That's the reason I'm sitting here having a hissy fit about my marker. So, all right, hello, hello, Miss Debbie, Miss Nancy. How are we all doing today? Are we ready to get a little scary? Pest control guy coming, skunk problem. <laughs> you have a skunk problem in the house, like inside the house? Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I, I kinda wanna get that taken care of pretty quickly. All right, it is, um, it, it looks like it's going to pour at some point, but I looked on the weather forecast and it seems like we're okay, so hopefully we are okay. So we shall see. Okay, you guys ready to get started? Let me show you what, you're, what we're looking at here. Um, today we are going to make a Jason wreath. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. I have tried to make a sign. Um, unfortunately, me and the paint didn't work out too well. I think it's because um, I tried to do it too quickly and didn't let the bottom layer dry. So I'm gonna have to repaint it again. So, meh, sign's not going on today, that sucks, but we are gonna deal with it. So, hello, hello, Miss Kathy. Inside, Haley, how'd you get skunks inside? I have to know. <laughs> what, what do you have, a mama skunk and baby skunks? Hi, Miss Stephanie and Cindy. <laughs> it's Pepe Le Pew, he's come to visit you, he loves you. All right, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry though. <laughs> um, okay. We are going to be using this mesh today, okay? Isn't this pretty? This black and silver. I love, 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 love this. It's a nice quality mesh. And then I kind of fell in love with it. And guys, everything you know, it's like I kind of do it. See how it goes. It goes good in my head. Hopefully it goes good when I do it. All right. So here we have this nice little garnet. We have a black garnet with thin white stripes. So we are going to be doing that as well. Oh, do you? Yeah, this came from my running days. Um, ink and Burn, that's it. I love Ink and Burn. Um, and they used to be one of my sponsors when I used to run competitively. Um, and so I have like a whole slew of their clothes. I can't get into them all right now, but I'm holding on to them for the day that I will. And then of course, whoosh, right there. <laughs> Um, we have a cute little blood splattered knife. Promise you it's fake blood. Um, that's going there as well. And then I got a couple of things that I don't know if I'm going to use or not, but I kind of brought them out anyway. I found this creepy little cloth thing from Party City. It was like a dollar. And I think it's like three, I don't know, it's like five foot by three foot or something like that. I don't know. Um, so I got that. And then I rummaged through my tub. And, and moved in. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hello. Or Tanya, whoever's behind there. <laughs> uh, please make, you have pants on. What do you need, honey? This is my son. Apparently he wants to be a star. Don't you, little guy? Yeah? Say hi to everyone. Hi. Okay. I love you. Love you. And away he goes. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I pulled all this stuff out of my fall tub. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I figured, eh, let's go ahead and pull it out and have it ahead of time. 
Um, so these ones right here don't come with the kit. I don't even know if I'm gonna use these, but I thought maybe. So I remember picking this up last year from Hobby Lobby. Um, and since it is Camp Crystal Lake, I kind of thought maybe, just maybe, it would be appropriate. And I like the fact that the tips of these have like that slight little burnt orange, um, reddish tint to it. So maybe, just maybe, we shall see. Uh, I just kind of threw it all out. That's another one. And then I saw these little guys. I always like these ones. This is also from Hobby Lobby right here. Um, and again, this was all my stuff from last year. So I'm kind of like grabbing it, seeing if I like it. I don't know. And then I got some ferns over here too. I was looking for my leaves, my dark leaves. Um, I couldn't find them. But Hobby Lobby right now, and their floral's not 50% off. So I would wait till next week. But their floral, they have a beautiful, like super, super dark burgundy um, and brownish colored like uh, leaf picks, long ones. Um, that would have gone great with this, but I had to use my coupon for something else today. So we shall see if we end up using them or not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And you are down for the count. I'm trying to put that, there we go. I had to move the light down too. And let me grab a little light out of here. Um, we'll use this one. Okay. Um, now I painted the board black and the only reason I painted it black is just because I was hoping that the lights might pop a little bit better and that way if there's any extra coverage on there then um, that doesn't come through then that will be hidden as well. Um, I attempted to make my own sign but again I got to go back and repaint it y'all. I like the actual sign um, but I got to repaint it white and then I have to let it sit for 24 hours and then put everything on. So although I may use the cry cut to do a heat transfer. I have to um, look at that because that's actually what I think I may do. I, I may do a heat transfer. So, all right, let's get this little guy undone. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's make sure they work, which I pull that out. And whoop, there we go. Yep, got our fast twinkle, slow twinkle. And off we go. And they, they are the timer ones, so the moment that you turn them on, that little six-hour timer starts, and then they shut off afterwards. Hello, Miss Darlene. How are you? Do, 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 do. I like Halloween. I like Halloween and Christmas. Those are actually my favorite wreaths and themes to work with. There we go. I like this one, too, because you don't have that long line. You actually get to use majority of this. All right. And I've already, hold on, sweetie. I've already got this. So I'm going to attach the Velcro. I'm not on the side that has the screws in it. You'll regret it later. Give that a good little push. And pull that part off. And down we go. Where did I get the lights? On Amazon, my lady. On Amazon. And unfortunately, the price went up. I knew it was going to happen. I should have bought a whole bunch of them last time, and I didn't. So I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing that right now. Um, but they were pretty cheap at like a dollar per set, and now they've gone up, up, up. Holy crap. So um, I suggest when you go on Amazon that you go through and scroll through about three to five pages when you're searching for the lights um, because sometimes the deals are hidden in the other pages. All right, so we're just going to go around. And like I said, um, some of the paint is going to get scratched off on here, guys. Hello, hello, Miss Gail. I am doing well. I'm tired, getting ready to go on vacation tomorrow and trying to get the last orders out. So I am a little tired. So I still have two and a half more to get finished. I'm halfway through with one. And then I've got two more to get done after that. So. Yay! Thank you, Miss Jean, for sparkling my live. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love sparkles. I love glitter. Um, but yeah, definitely send some likes, send some loves. Um, guys, remember these are these are the flower boards. I painted it black. Um, but you can use the code in the ATL and you can take 10% off when you go to uniqueinthecreek.com and visit my lady Lori and her other half, Dave. There we go. I'm just kind of going around. Guys, I have no method to my madness here. I'm just literally just whatever, putting the lights on. That's it, seriously. 
Um, I decided to go use the flower, um, the flower board today because I wanted to do a poof. Um, and I was concerned that the character board might not let me get the number of poofs I want in. So and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you could use these if you didn't want to use poofs because the kits do come with 21 inch mesh this time. Um, they don't come with 10 inch mesh, okay? And I think, let's pull it out a little bit. They're not going to be perfect. They're going to be okay. Yes, it will. There we go. All right, and we're just going to kind of go around. It doesn't really matter. And yes, the board does end up scraping, so the paint spray paint does scrape off. That's not the part, um, you know, it just it gives it a little bit of extra coverage. So, blends in a little easier. If there's a few scrapes, it's not going to matter because nobody's going to see it by the time, um, nobody's going to see it anyway by the time you are finished. Okay? All right. So we are going to start with this one right here. I love this mesh. Isn't it pretty? I love, 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 love. I saw the color and I was like, ooh, I gotta have you. Let me move my zip ties to the other side. I'm still upset about my sign, y'all. That's what impatience gets you. When you're not patient, ugh. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this started over here. Do, 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 do. And I think I'm gonna start right here on the outside, y'all, okay? Hello, hello, Miss Lisa. How are you? All right, so we're going to come over here, and I'm just going to kind of bring these together right here. And if you have a mesh roll holder or something, that works fine too. Um, I'm, I don't typically worry about that. There we go. Bring that there. Make sure it's facing the inside of the board, y'all, when you go to put it in, okay? You don't want it facing this way, okay? Face it that way. All right, so I am going to start over here on the outside. Okay. Ugh. My brain is dead. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, and I didn't have these set up ahead of time because, again, I am doing the poofs on here. It's kind of like with ruffles. You kind of have to. I know, right, Gail? Loving, loving, loving it. And I may end up trimming that off in a little bit, but we're going to put some more topics on here, so I don't even think it's going to be noticeable. And there goes my Perrier. All right, we're going to clean that up in a little bit. There's nothing electronic over there. Maybe I should move my drink. There we go. Tee hee. All right. There we go. My poor Perrier. I am going to trim that off just a teeny tiny little bit. And my other son took off with my scissors, so y'all, unfortunately, I'm using my fabric scissors, which I'm very, very, very upset about. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to go from hole to hole over here on the outside, okay? One, two, three. And then you're going to put it in like that, okay? So I usually count one, two, three. If you're trying to measure this, let's go to a 10-inch mark. It's about 10 inches, okay? So again, I just go one, two, three. And it literally ends up being about 10 inches. All right, and then I'm going to get this and put this in here. And I'm going to show you with the other mesh, the black silver mesh, what we're going to end up doing or what some other options are if you didn't want to do this and you wanted to do something different. Okay. All right, and I'm not going to tighten them all up yet, y'all, because again, Remember, I told you I wanted to use the black mesh with it too. So I'm going to leave this like this for right now, okay? All right, let's get another one ready. And then whole pile of mesh at Walmart, when they go on sale for like three bucks in some places, never goes on sale in my Walmart though, um, you know, then this is some, this is an option for you to do. Hello, hello, hi Jean, hi Teresa, and again, leave it just a little bit loose, okay, so that you can add other things to it. If you leave it a little bit loose and you decide to use ribbons, then you can easily slip in another zip tie into it, or if you decide to use um, another type of mesh, you'll be able to do that as well, okay, so always leave a little bit, okay. I can't say that enough, or you're going to be stuck having to undo it. <clears throat> and then redo it. One, two, three. There we go. And again, you can count. I just noticed that when I do it, um, I have a tendency to do about 10 inches. So uh, that's basically what this is. It's 10 inch poofs, okay? 
Hello, Miss Barbara. How are you? From Ohio. Gosh, I love this mesh, y'all. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Loving, loving, loving it. All right. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. All right. There we go. And look how easy that is. No more aching fingers. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going to tighten that one up just a little bit. One, two, three. Now I do hold it though. Before you end up doing the next one, make sure that you hold that poof in place over there or it will try to move on you. And then you have the opportunity when you stick this in here just to double check and make sure that the poof is the way you want it to. I know, Barbara, right? I saw this mesh and I had to have it. So I ordered 20 rolls. <laughs> And I'm like, hopefully y'all like my kit and y'all end up using it. But if not, I love my mesh. So easy peasy. I'll end up using it myself. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit because I can feel it pull. All right, one, two, three. There we go. Some people have a little mesh holder, like a long spool that holds your rolls of mesh. I've always gotten by without it, um, you know, but... Some people do find that helpful. Here we go as well. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so Jean, I'm not the only one who sits here counting. <laughs> I've heard some people count to eight or some people count to five. For me, I've noticed that it's a one, two, three type of deal. Um, and that works for me. So, but I don't know. All right, one, two, three. And then again, if I put it in there and I'm like, eh, it looks a bit too poofy. Well, then, you know, since you left the zip ties on loose anyway, you can tighten them up with no problem. You, like, you can move the mesh through it. So, alert. Um, let me see here. Gert, I don't think you can do alert in the video, sweetie. Um, you're going to have to go into the last post I did. There's only some posts that I put alerts on. I don't put them on all of them. So, and then if you've already done it one time, you don't need to keep on doing it, okay? Just thought I'd let you know on that one, too. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's going to make, make a nice, big, pretty wreath. One, two, three. Pretty, right? Did I just use the word pretty while we're talking about Jason? I don't know how that's going to work out, y'all. I'm going to have nightmares tonight is what I'm going to have. <laughs> All right, we're going to get that in here. And this is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Open them up. It's a gorgeous fabric, I love it. Not fabric, it's a gorgeous mesh, duh. All right, and then I'm gonna come right over here and I'm gonna put a double, I'm gonna put another zip tie right here where we began, okay? Because otherwise you're gonna have that weird opening. One, two, three. So, have y'all ever ran out of mesh before and it's like you're trying to make something and you're like, oh God, I ran out of mesh. I don't have enough. And then you have that weird, awkward, empty space. One thing you can do if you ever come across that, um, you can always put a bow there or put another embellishment is an option as well. So, I always tell people, don't freak out. There's no need to freak out. Just think outside the box of what else you could put in that space, you know, to help it out. Okay, so that one is it for that row. I am going to keep going in, and I'm looking here where I want to go. Let me loosen this up some, because again, you know, when you guys do this with me, you guys are on a journey, okay? All right, let's take a look. Although I do have a surprise for y'all coming in July. I'm trying to see where I want to go. I don't think I want to use that one. I think I want to go to this row right here. So I think I may skip a row, okay? Hello, hello, hello. One, two, and it got stuck. One, two, three. All right, and that's the reason I wanted to see where I'm gonna go. Actually, I think I can go here. Let me see this. Because if I go here, actually that works too. We might be able to save some mesh that way. Or we can just go here. Let me figure that out. I'm going to fix this mesh first. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So if we go here, we have the, well, that could actually be kind of a cute look. But I actually think I'm going to go in 
between, maybe. Let's see here. If that was there, I told y'all y'all are feeling it out with me. I kind of like this one though too. No, I think I'm going to go for this one. All right, so what I'm going to do, y'all, is right here, I'm going to use this one in front of it, and then I'm going to skip and hop over to the next one, okay? If that makes any sense, you'll see. All right, so right where we just did it, and you're still not tightening anything up, okay? I'm going to go in through here. And I'm going to show you, there's a different way you can use this mesh. You do not have to, um, you do not have to end up, actually, let me see, yep, yep, that'll work good. You do not end up having to do poofs if you do not want to, y'all. So, and we're going to tighten that up in here, and then we're going to spread it out. There we go. Let's go this way. Sometimes you got to feel the mesh and go with the flow. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check that out. Love it. Beautiful. Fabulous. Okay. So basically everywhere we just put a zip tie, we're going to use that space in front of it. You're skipping the one that's under here. Okay. So I'm going to get this ready. I love experimenting. Experimenting is fun. The best things happen when you experiment. Unless you experiment with fire. Then it's not always good. Hi, Teresa. How are you? One, two, three. And we're going to come right on in here. But I love the fact that you guys go on these journeys with me. That's what I enjoy. And I think that's important in crafting, too, in, in any kind of activity that you take a chance, you take a risk. And you kind of just see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? It doesn't work out. Then you just try again. Not a big deal. That's what I always tell my kids. What's the worst that can happen? Now, trying to tell a kid that <laughs> doesn't always work out very well. <laughs> All right, here we go. And one, two, three. And we're going to go in here. And stick right over that hole there. Okay. And in we go. Look how easy that is. And once you get the gist of it and the hang of it, it goes faster and faster too. Now I don't need to cover the whole thing. You'll see why in a minute. There we go in there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Guys, I love this mesh. Holy pajoli. <laughs> if it's possible to fall in love with the mesh, I did it. So... Here we go. I went to Hobby Lobby today to grab a few supplies, including the sign that I wanted to make. But I think I'm going to try my cry cut to do a heat transfer instead um, and see if that will work a little better. Anyway, though, I went in there and I only had about 12 minutes. Guys, in 12 minutes, I was able to spend 40 bucks. <laughs> go figure. One, two, three. I walked in there for signs and walked out with a bunch more. Although I am doing a project for my um, eight-year-old. I'm redecorating their bathroom, and so they wanted some artwork on the wall. So I'm getting a little crafty with that, and I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for stuff either, y'all. So I'm having fun with that. I can't get to that until I get back from vacation, though. Look at that. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Holy cow, look at that. All right, let's keep going. Almost done with this and in we go okay I've actually got something big coming for y'all in July but I'm still working on getting the finishing touches put on it all right here we go one two three there we go yes Hobby Lobby love it careful though the only day I don't spend money is Sundays. That's it. The rest of the days, holy cow. And in we go. I'm still leaving a little bit of space there, y'all, because um, like I told you, there's something else I want to add to this. And I'm just kind of feeling it out the way I want to go. The great thing about this kit is you're getting a, you know, both rolls of mesh. So you have a choice of what you end up wanting to do with it, the look that how you end up wanting to take it. So you can do this one, or you could do the other. 
I'll show you some other things you can do in a second once we get to the black. One, two, come on. One, two, three. There we go. And in. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. And I've heard about all these dollar stores turning into pluses. Ours has not turned into one yet. So I have to go check it out after vacation. I don't think I'm going to have time to check it out right now. So I'm back to see if we can catch a video of a live one before they start ripping things out of our bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel sorry for you. Oh my goodness, a skunk. I bet you where there's one skunk, there's baby skunks. You could have cute little wee little Pepe Le Pews. So, so have you actually seen skunks like walking around the house? One, two, three. Or they're just in your walls, which is bad, but I'm curious. It'd be interesting to see a skunk just like walk across the living room floor. <laughs> I know, Jan. That's why I made that comment. I was like, the only day I don't spend money is Sundays. <laughs> and and I do. Have you seen that Facebook meme where they're like, they're hiding stuff in their car? Um, one time my husband found my stash, though. And he's like, how long has that been in there? You were shopping today? I was like, no, 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 honey. That, that's been there for a while. I just haven't taken it inside. <laughs> So look how covered this is already, guys, and we've only done two rows. I am going to do one more, and that's it. Um, and this time, I think what I want to do, there we go, is, let's see here. I'm going to do one more just to get that coverage in the middle. One, two, three. Look how big the wreath is. And it's not done yet either. We're not done with this yet. Okay. I want to go probably, let's see here. We've got a choice. We can go here. And that will go straight to the middle. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow. Um, so if you look, I'm going, I'm basically skipping the very, very center. You have the very, very four in the center of the flower board. And then you've got the row right out of it. I don't think I'm using those two rows, guys. I think I'm just going to use these outside three rows, and that is it. So I'm letting you know. And you'll, I mean, once we get this covered, you'll see why we don't even need to use those middles. One, two, three. And in we go. Okay. And I'm not going to make it super tight yet. I do see where we need to do something else. We're going to use that black silver mesh in just a second. I did ask if the other one we caught in the trap was male or female. He didn't check. <laughs> Get it spayed. <laughs> My, I don't even know if they're going to, well, you know. You can't, you can't have wild animals living in your house. So I totally get that. I don't know what they're going to do with those skunks afterwards. I don't know if they're going to release them to the wild or if they're going to probably go test them for rabies or something. Who knows? <laughs> Let me get that here. There we go. I'm going to play with it a little bit. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. There. Okay. All right. And then we go one, two, up. Oh, you got folded under. If they come up to the top, guys, because what I always like to do when I'm doing working with 21 inch, I like to make sure that the two ends are at the bottom. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. One, two, three. Now we're gonna go into this one. All right, and then so if we went here. I'm looking at right around over, skip one, let me see here, I want to go over here. Alright, so yep, there's a hole right over there. So it's kind of one of those things that you want to feel out, y'all, I'm going to let go of that, um, and kind of figure out where you want the mesh to go. 
I'm doing the same thing where I put it in one and I skip one. Okay? One, two, three. And we're going to go right in there. All right. Come on, get down in there. Get down to it, do, do. All right. Tighten it up just a little. And then fan it out some. Okay. There we go. Same thing here. This one needs to be fanned out just a little bit. Okay. All right, we're gonna fix that outside in a minute because that outside bothers me a little bit. That's okay. And I think I wanna do probably, let's see here, one more. So let me get the hole over here. Um, sweetie, I'm gonna turn it over at the end. Okay, I think that's the best way to do it, Michelle, is to turn it over at the end. I'm skipping the two inside rows, put it that way. All right, and then basically it looks like I'm using one and then I'm skipping one, okay? All right, there's the other set of holes right over there. So every time I put a zip tie in one, I skip it and go to the next one. One, two, three. And that might be the last one to go in there. So, and then I'm going to show you with the tint with the with the black one some different options of what you can do if you did not want to do a poof, a poofy poof. Okay, let's put that in here. Do 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 do. Okay. I'm going to fan it out some more. And it's not really going to matter right here in the middle anyway because um, Jason's head's going there. But I always like to have a little bit something behind. Okay? If, if his mask was just like a plain mask, I would have been okay with it. Alright, so let me see. I'm actually thinking just one more and that is it. And you could stop right here, honestly, if you wanted to, y'all. You would not have to go any further, but I'm going to add one more. One, two, three. I don't know why I didn't put the frickin' zip tie in first, though. So I have one here. I'm going to skip the next set of holes, and I'm going to go over here. And put it in. And I'm going to show you guys the back, and that is the last one, it looks like. One, two, three. There we go. I'm sad about my sign. Y'all, I didn't want to pay 13 bucks, 14 bucks on Amazon for the sign. So I'm going to try using my heat transfer and see if I can't come up with something. There we go. But that's okay. Whatever. We'll figure it out. All right. What on earth is this? Okay, luckily that won't show up anyway. Let me just double check. So we'd skip one, and there we go. Yep, all right, that's it, that's it. We used it all. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna cut it off, um, and I'm going to cut to where I have a <sighs> stream resumed. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna cut it about three inches, okay? About that much. That way I can hide the tail. All right, I'm going to put that away. And I'm going to tuck that down under, okay? Like so. All right, so you've got a good amount of coverage, but we are still not finished yet, okay? we got to take care of this outside here, and this is why I kind of left it open. All right, we're finished with this one, though. So I'm going to put this mesh aside. And again, you could have stopped a little earlier and saved some mesh, okay? I chose to use a little bit more, all right? Um, but this is about, looks like we used about half a roll, a little over half a roll right here. However, but again, you could have just said, I don't want to do this part right here. I'm going to cut this part out. Okay, and then you'd have exactly half a roll and you'd be able to use the rest of it 
to do something different, okay, for another wreath. All right, so now let's get this one, all right? And I'm going to show you some things that you can use with this. We're going to play with it for a second. I'm going to cut a 10-inch piece off. So let me go here. All right, it's a little uneven. Let me come over here to the side, and we need to give this a nice straight cut. All right, because depending on the method that we choose to use, people can tell. There we go. Now we've got a nice straight cut. I'm going to cut this to 10 inches, so since it's on the 22 mark, I'm going to cut over here at 32, so they're 10 inches. Okay, so now there's a couple of things you can do here, okay? Um, one of the things you can do is you can simply, you can actually still do a ruffle, okay, if you wanted to. Um, even with 21 inch mesh, okay? All you would do is basically put this down and just crawl all the way up, okay? And then you'd have a ruffle that you can stick in there as well, all right? Uh, let's see here, let me get rid of this. He <laughs> got ghosts, yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing that you can do is you can kind of roll this up okay and then you can kind of go this method but that's going to be a little long honestly what you could do here is sometimes what I do is I measure it like this okay so we've got a curl and a curl here and we got the poof right here in the middle what you can do is basically zip tie here and zip tie here as well so that's another option that you can do all right and when you do this you want to make sure that the opening is at the bottom okay if that makes sense because that way you can take your hand in here and open it up um, let me see which one I want to do we could do it this way I like the idea of putting some curls in it not right now Alejandro. okay put it over there Alejandro not right now thank you baby all right thank you all right what can I stay baby not I'm trying to finish this you can stay here but you've got to you've got to be over there honey no sir honey I'm, I'm working right here all right he wants to have his own YouTube channel and we just found out that um, we just found out that he can't do it right now until he's like 13 so he has to have an adult on there with him wow. the other thing that you can do here is you can take it in this way okay and then just kind of, um, and then you have a slightly different look as well. I'll go over there. Thank you. I'm trying to finish this up, baby. All right. Um, I think what I want to do, let's try the ruffle here, okay? All right. So basically, that's what you would end up with. Let me take a peek see in here, and I want to see how that's going to end up. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. All right, I want to take a peek see and see how that looks. I like this, and here's why I like this. Um, do you see how we kind of have this like little shape in there? We kind of want to get rid of that. So I would honestly, with this, use either the poof and curl, if you want curls, or I would use a ruffle in here. And you could use a 10 inch as well, okay? So heads up on that part. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some zip ties in. Here we go. And this is the reason I said to leave it loose. I'm going to put it right here, okay, and I'm just going to kind of do one at a time because I don't know exactly everywhere I want them to go yet, but look how beautiful this is. There we go, and we're just going to put that in right there. Now that we've got this, I can tighten up that first one. Let me actually cut that first one up now that we have the zip tie in there. There we go hard to do with the right hand. I don't know how you right-handed people do this. All right, and we're going to stick that in here like so. I kind of actually like that look because you have more of a um, frayed, and you can use that with the scarecrow too, guys. You can use 21-inch mesh with the scarecrow as well. All right, so we got kind of that look going on right here. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten. Let me see here. I think... Let me leave that alone. I'm going to leave it alone right now. 
All right, and the reason I'm gonna leave it alone is because I may wanna add some of the other stuff in. So if you think you're gonna add stuff at the end, potentially, whether it be leaves, whether it be ribbons, leave it a little loose, all right? But I can go ahead and tighten up this one. There we go, and go ahead and cut that one off. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I like it too, I like it too. That's what I'm saying, it's, it's a complete preference of what you want to do. There's a couple of different methods that you can use. Um, and it all goes into the look that you want, okay? So, just FYI on that part. There's no wrong way, there's no right way. It just depends on what you want to achieve. All right, we're at the 21 inch mark, so I'm gonna cut over here at 31. Let's cut a few of these. And I have to cut them over here at the side because the camera's got big stupid legs right there. <laughs> so, I can't get over there to cut right in front of you guys. So maybe what I'll do is I'll turn it this way a little bit. There, now I have a little more room. All right, I'm gonna cut, let's cut eight of these to start off with. All right, I'm on the 17 inch mark. There we go. So we got three. And again, it's all about the whatever method you're wanting to use. Uh, and it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Four. I like Halloween. Do, 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 do. 17. Nothing like having three Pennywises out in your hallway greeting people. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, 17. This mesh, um, I actually ordered in bulk. It is out of, I don't know if it's in stock yet at Craft Outlet or not. You will have to double check. It might be out of stock. I think the Garnet one, the other one that I used, is out of stock. So, do, do, do. I don't know about this one. This black silver one, I know it's on there. I just don't know if it's in stock. Big difference, because nothing seems to be in stock right now in Craft Outlet. <laughs> Why is music playing on my phone? I mean, hold up, y'all. I'm not playing music. I swear to God. Okay, there we go. I don't know how that happened. There must have been something in the background, a video open or something. All right, so I'm going to use ruffles to go in between these, okay? There we go. I like it because it kind of has that like little spider look to it. So, all right, and we're going to put it in here. Y'all, I finally got my cry cut. It stopped working all of a sudden. I just realized I forgot to tighten that one. No, I didn't. Duh, Isabel. All right, we're going to tighten that. Not too much though, especially like I said, if you think you're going to add stuff to it, leave it loose. Okay? If there's even the remote possibility. Um, but I've been working for a week and a half trying to get that stupid silhouette. I didn't throw anything on it, so I didn't understand why suddenly it wasn't working anymore. I keep freezing. No! Is everybody else having the freezing problem? <sighs> I hope not. I hope the answer is no. I know, for, I know it got one time because I saw it was trying to reconnect. So once I put the zip tie in there, I'm tightening that first one up. Oh God, yep, I'm getting three people. I'm getting a lot of people saying yes. All right, I'm gonna have to have my husband look at it because, ah, uh, all right. Okay, so then the question is, is it very, very often? I wonder. I don't know if Lori's still on here or not, or Tammy, but um, I'm wondering if uh, it says broadcast interrupted. Okay. <sighs> it was kicked off five times the other night. It's Facebook. Well, then Facebook's been having issues, it seems like, the last couple of weeks. It's driving me nuts because it's like the internet's working great in the rest of the house. And you should see our download and our upload speed. Holy cow, I have been downloading videos, what used to take like an hour and a half, is like done in like 10 minutes. So I guess I can't get mad at Comcast right now, but I don't understand 
what Facebook has been doing lately then to do that. Sucks. All right. So now that I got that one in here, we're tightening this one up. There we go. And snip, snip. And we're going to put this one in here. I like the spider look. I think that's good. I think that's what this needed. And again, I'm leaving it just a little bit. I don't think I'm going to add anything else right here, but you know what? I don't want to be in that situation where I change my mind and add something, and um, then I can't do it. Put another zip tie in there. That way you're not struggling trying to hold everything inside your hands. And then you can go ahead and tighten that one down and get that in there. There we go. I hear my son in the hallway again. But poor guy wanted to stream his video game so, so bad. So, I do like that. Yes, I agree. That's why I'm like, you could do a poof and curl. You could do a poof and a pedal. Um, you know, you, you could do a couple of different methods. But seeing as it's Halloween, I'm actually thinking that this method is better. And it's giving us a nice little coverage right here where it dips in. So, all right. We're going to go in here, put another zip tie in right here. And... There we go, tighten that up. That one's pretty tight already. And let's put one in there. I'm probably gonna put a few towards the middle. And this is um, definitely high quality mesh. You pay a little bit more for it, for sure. But I like it, I like it, I love it. I want some more of it. Yes, I do. There we go. Put it right in there. Yes, it does. I like it. Like I said, I like that look. And that actually was not part of my plan at the beginning. It just so happened that I had a couple of methods in mind of what I was going to put, what how I was going to do it. Um, and that's the reason you guys saw me holding it up on there to see whether or not I actually liked it or not. So, and that's what you got to do sometimes. Sometimes a project takes on a mind of its own. Oh yeah, the, the silhouette. Anybody else ever have a... First of all, who has a silhouette on here? I'm curious. Anybody? Or are we cry cut fans here? There we go. Alright. The reason I was asking is because for about a week and a half, I kept dealing with an error message saying that um, my Cameo that it couldn't find my Cameo. And I was like, well, what do you mean you can't find my Cameo? I just used it the other day. How did my Cameo suddenly disappear? Um, and it, I tried, okay, so you have three. Neither? Okay. Well, I tried, um, I tried buying a new cable from the, from the laptop to the Cameo thinking that that would fix it. No, that didn't fix it. I bought a Bluetooth adapter. That didn't fix it, okay? So I'm out of money on that. So then I was like, well, crap, what else could it be? I tried uninstalling, reinstalling, updating firmware, everything didn't work. Finally, I was like, well, maybe the problem isn't with the Cameo because the Cameo turns on and works. I can get Silhouette going, but they're just not talking to each other. They're not communicating. So, um, so I actually went into the device manager and went to the USB drives and uh, fixed all of those. And once I did that, boom, started working again. That was awesome, y'all. So I ended up having to uh, update every single one of the USB drivers, which there's like eight of them, because I didn't know which one was the problem. <laughs> but thank God for YouTube, because YouTube's where I found that information out, and that's how I fixed it. All right, look at this already, guys. See? Look at that. I love this, love this, love this, love this, love this. Okay? I am going to add just a few more. Now let's take a look at where his head's going to go. Because we're getting close to being done. So here's the top facing me. Alright? So I've got the knife. I'm still going to end up doing a sign. It's just I might end up having to wait on the sign now. So the head's going to go somewhere around here. Okay? So I think I want to do one here, here here. Okay, I think I want to go between them if possible to add another spidey. 
in there. So that's the plan. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So since we have the two little spideys here, I'm going to look for an entrance right around up, probably right here. Yep, there it is. I figured it was right here. So try to get between them if you can. There we go. And then go ahead and tighten up the first one. I'm not going to put anything on the inside there. I may not even add anything to this one. Who knows? All right. And I still have a couple of them cut. So we're going to put them in there. I have to cut just a few more. You're not going to use as, as much of this mesh as you will of the garnet colored one. There we go. Right in there. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. All that glitters and sparkles. And it is backwards. Well, that sucks, monkey butts. That's okay. I think I can work with backwards. Let's see here. Let's see if I can work with backwards. Because I'm too lazy to take it out again. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. What's going on here? Not working with backwards. Oh. Well, booger nuts. Let's take it out. I think I can fit it back in. I'm usually pretty good at fitting those things in. There we go. With huge spiders in it. Yep. I don't have any spiders in my supply, though. I'd have to get some. I was kind of going with what I had on hand. I have those giant glittery ones, and this isn't a glittery thing. But finding the spiders actually wouldn't be hard. You could easily just go to um, Party City. In our case, we have a Party America right here. Um, so that works. I'm not putting anything else in this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten, and tighten this one all the way up. So many different ways that you could end up doing this. Look at that. And then you just move the mesh around. You don't even see the zip tie anymore. Okay? So, all right. Let's go ahead and go over here. Same concept. Let's see here. We got it right here. So we are going to go... I'd like to go right around here if we can. Yep, there it is. I'm Sometimes you have to dig for it a little bit. This time I'm making sure that my zip tie is facing the right way. It's more of an in inconvenience than it is anything else, y'all. So, it would be cool with a big spider in it. And yes, I'm loving the colors too. That's usually how something starts. I usually end up going with my main attraction, which is Jason, and then just kind of like picking a color I like from there and then building up off of it. In this case, I was able to find what I wanted in the two different meshes. All right, and tighten that up, and in it goes. All right, and then just move this up a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Ah, that's what it needed. It needed some more in here. All right, we're gonna add a few more in here. So we've got in the middle right here, okay. There we go. We'll tighten up that zip tie. Okay. And then I need to cut, it looks like I need one, two. I need two more pieces. So we're going to cut off two more pieces here. You never thought about, oh man, Party City. Holy cow, guys, you have to go check Party City out for supplies, especially when it comes to embellishments. <gasps> oh my goodness. And they're going to have those big giant bags of cheap little spiders too. I don't know if they have their Halloween stuff out yet though, because mine still has a lot of um, 4th of July stuff. So, but I, I'm not going to have time to go in there right now. I'm probably going to have to wait until we get back from vacation to check it out. So, all right, we're going to ruffle this up. Last two ruffles. And it really is, I mean, it depends. Like, you can get ex as extravagant with this as you want, you know? So, you can add as much as you want. You can keep it simple. Um, I personally, me, I would not go for ribbons just because Jason and ribbons 
don't seem like they go together very well. But some people like ribbons, and that is okay. I'm personally on the idea of wanting to have some, like, uh, spiders or some, like, yard debris type of situation in it, you know. Um, again, there's that one pick that I really like at Hobby Lobby that I am going to go back and pick up next week. So, it's... Ah, oh, no. It is so not only just for parties. There is a whole treasure trove of stuff in there, guys. you got to go check it out. And then, subscribe to their website because they usually have the $2 shipping. Or if you order enough, it's free shipping. Um, and then sometimes they have coupons if you're an insider, too. So that's another tip right there, too. All right, last piece of mesh. You're going to have a lot of this stuff left over, guys. This stuff's going to go a long way. And if you're getting the kit, you're getting both rolls of mesh. You're getting the garnet and you're getting this one. So, all right, we're going to stick this one in here. Ooh, where did you go? There you are. He was hiding, y'all. And come on up. There we go. So, yep, yep, yep. I will definitely have to hit up Party, Party City later. Not today, and it's already getting dark outside. It's not supposed to rain till tonight, though, y'all. I didn't even know it was in the forecast. I just happened to look out this morning. I'm like, why is it so cold? Oh, y'all, we missed one right here. We need a Spidey. Spidey in my brain, Spidey in my brain. 14 inches, so let's cut at 24. Basically, we're cutting these pieces at 10 inches. Who says you couldn't use 21 inch mesh for ruffles? Ha! When you have a lot of 21 inch mesh on your hands, you find a way to use it. That's for sure. <laughs> Hi, luscious lobbies. I love that name. All right. Let me put a zip tie through here. I don't want to let go of that. All right. Come on. I do hear the wind picking up outside, though. I'm just hoping. Like I said, I've got a pile of orders that still need to get done today. So, there we go. And if only I didn't need sleep. All right, so taking a peek, see at it. Look at that. It is already just wow. I mean, this guy is a huge, huge wreath. All right, let, let me see what we're measuring in at so far. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me just get the width from here. We'll start at 10. Uh, so we are 20, 30, we're at 25 inches wide. So about 25 inches or so is what you're looking at when you finish this. And this is just the base. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it, love it, love it. Love the colors. Okay, so now, now that this is the top, okay, now we're going to do some figuring out here. I'll keep you all over here. All right, let's do some figuring out. I'm going to make sure I have the bottom towards the bottom. All right, <clears throat> the sign sucks, so I'm going to redo the sign. Um, I'm just going to respray it because I don't think... I'm really in love with that font that I found online, and I can't find my red paint marker, so I'm going to re I'm going to spray paint this yellow again. Let it dry the full 24 hours instead of just like a couple of hours. I guess that was a problem with the weather today, or user error. And then my plan is, my plan is to take cooler today. I'm that's what I heard. My plan is to use the HTV um, vinyl and make a heat transfer to put the sign on here. Um, because if you look on anywhere online, guys, I tried to find a sign for you that was that did not just jump the cost of the kit and make it insane. But the signs are about $13 a piece. So my theory was, well, let me just try to make it myself, and I'm gonna try one more time um, and use the HTV with it to see if I can't make a sign that goes with it. So. Are you placing two zip tie on the board? Yeah, I've got these right here, cable ties. It's hard to see because of the glare, but I've already put cable ties on here. So, yeah. 
I don't know. Is it going to go between screen doors? Let me check. <laughs> um, okay. Looking at a ruler. Okay. Let's check. All right. We are about upside down. <laughs> That's what we are. We are. Let's try this again. Yeah, it looks like by the time you put the mask on there, it looks like it's going to be up about six inches, y'all. All right. Okay, so I know I want the sign. I'm just going to place this on here for now. Okay? And I know I got my little machete over here. Um, so I think I want his... I could have his face straight, but that seems eh. I think I want it a little bit to the sideways. Da -da -da -da. And then maybe the sign up here. Like I said, I'm not using the sign, y'all, so you guys are watching this video. I messed up on the sign. I'm just trying to figure out where I want the sign placed at, okay? So I'm thinking right about here and maybe have the knife right about here. Yeah, his head needs to be sideways, y'all. Yep, I like that placement. So this is the placement I'm going for, okay? This is what I'm looking at. So I tilted his head just a little bit. Knife's gonna go here, sign's gonna go there. Not that sign though, different one. <laughs> Fixing that sucker. <sighs> That's called Isabel being impatient and really wanting to just hurry up and paint it. So, um, and it didn't come out. So I'm gonna try the HTV. Um, one other thing I did with the mask is the mask came with these, let me show you. The mask came with this thing on here. Um, the reason I took it off is because of those, okay? Hindsight 2020, maybe I should have left it on, I don't know. Um, but I'm not going for it. Now my other thing is, I don't want it showing too much. So I'm thinking maybe just right here and maybe over here. Oh, I know what I should have done. Silly Isabel. I don't know if I don't know if I can do it right now though. I don't know if I can do it right now. Or we're going to try it this way. Um, the other thing and I think I'm going to do it. What I'm thinking about is what I should have done is I should have put cable ties on the inside of him um, to zip him down. But let's see if I can't get them in there and then finagle it to where can kind of cover it up a little bit. I don't think I can though. I think we need the zip ties, the cable ties, y'all. So I think that is what I'm gonna do. I can put this one on though. I don't think I have any more cable ties. Let me check. Let me see if I've got any up here right now. I don't think so. All right, we're just gonna put this on here for right now. So I'm going to put this on here so that you guys can see what it looks like, but I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get two more cable ties, just like on the back of the sign, and I'm going to put a cable tie here and a cable tie here, okay? And I'm going to end up re-threading it because that way you don't see any wires or anything else, or you could add embellishments around it to hide it completely, all right? So I'm going to use some wire for right now and just kind of cut it off. That's so why I'm like, you work, you finagle it, you work it. So, do, do, do. You have a Michael Myers mask? Ah, there you go. All right, and there we go. All right, that's my plan on that one. Okay, but for right now, just for the purposes of being able to show you guys, I am just going to thread this through here, um, and that way it's not permanent. That way I can take it back off again after the live, and um, I can show y'all what it would look like. But I'm going to put cable ties. There we go. Awesome saucy. I'm going to put it over here. My son told me never to say awesome saucy again. I don't understand why. So. There we go. Yeah, that's that's going to be the plan, Sheila. The problem is, is I can't do cable ties right. I can't do them right now um, because when I use cable ties, I put E6000 on them. Um, that way I can guarantee that they don't fall off. 
So, all right, and one more thing. Let me, I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so yeah, I don't want them to fall off. There we go, make sure of that, okay. All right, so that is the planning for right now. All right, so I'm gonna put them about like that. All right, so right around here, I want to get them through and I can see where the zip tie is. So I am just gonna follow on both sides of the zip tie and put it through the hole that way. At least that's the plan. Let's see if that works like I want it to. All right. Or, yeah, I, th I think I see what you're talking about. I like that idea too. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right. I think the other thing I'm going to do, since this is only temporary in the first place, since I've got that little itty bitty little zip tie right there, I'm just going to thread the wire through it. There we go. Instead of trying to get it all the way back through the back of the board like I wanted to. <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave that alone for just a second. All right, come back to the bottom, bring this up right here, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just putting it through the top of a zip tie kind of like we would have done with ribbon or anything else. You just got to find the zip tie that you want to use. I want to have it about right here. So, all right, let's try that. That zip tie looks a little bit too low. Let's try this one maybe. Oh, well, we'll use it anyway. Screw that. That's right, I said it. Yeah, yep, that's usually what I do too. Because if I put it down in here, well, I think it'll work. It'll work for right now temporarily just to be able to show you. All right, so let me put it through here. Okay, there we go. This is temporary again, reminding you it is temporary. So, all right, look at the bottom. Make sure I'm straight because if I'm not, which I'm not, where is that? See, that's why I didn't like that. All right, let's move that up. He moved on me. There we go. Let's try it again. The little thingy moved on me. I didn't like that. There we go. All right. Got it this time. And that's why you always want to check the bottom. Make sure that you are going in the right direction. That zip tie does not want to get in there. Not zip tie. There we go. And trying to push this in there. Like I said, I use I typically use the cable ties myself. So I think I tightened this one, this little sucker down good. Let me see if I can get it or not. I don't typically give up easily. Come on. I think I got it. Yep, there we go. We are in business. Told you I don't give up easily. There we go. It's like watching a baby wire be born. All right. All right. Come on. Let me try these pull these things up here. There we go. Woo woo woo. Okay. Sound effects y'all. Sound effects. All right. And we are golden. Okay. So again, this is a temporary solution, but it does, it does the trick just for right now. All right, and then I can cut off the edges and fold it back in. Tighten it one more time, and then down it goes. Actually, you can't even see the wire now. I may actually not even change it. I might leave it the way it is, y'all. All right, same thing over here. So again, I just use the wire on here. You don't have to. 
All right. And tighten it down. I'm still going to take it off and do cable ties, but this is a good solution for right now. Not a big deal. That way you can still at least see what it ends up looking like. All right. And then we're going to finagle this just a little bit. His head straightened up a little bit. Not too bad. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right there. And then you can kind of just move things around him. Let's pull that black out. I really like that black, so I really don't want that black to be hiding. There we go. Right there. Okay, same thing here. And pull some of that mesh out as well. There we go. Almost done, y'all. At least for now. Mainly because my sign didn't work out, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not too heartbroken. All right. All right, so we got his face on. Let's get the knife on. Again, I'm gonna leave room for the sign up here, okay? So, all right. So eventually the sign will go here after I fix it. And I'm gonna put the knife right around here. Let me get up here so I can look a little better. Do, 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 do. Yep, right there. I want the sign. Yeah. 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 I don't want it. There we go. Right about there. Okay. We're good. All right, y'all. <clears throat> and because I'm in love with my wire, I'm going to use another wire on here as well. So it's a little thinner than the zip tie. All right. Let's get the wire out. How are you guys loving him? I love him. I do sing. Look at that. I'm treating y'all to a show. A very bad show on singing. <laughs> Maybe I should put like a little tip bucket out. I might not get my very many tips. The police might come pick me up and say, lady, you can't sing here. Mm -mm. Or heaven forbid, maybe I get the copyright police after me. You can't sing that song. There we go. All right. Oh, I lost my little thing. All right, so I put up one right here. Now, I did this one earlier, added the zip tie on here earlier, so I think it'll work just fine. Where did I get that face and the knife? What, my beautiful face? No. Um, <laughs> the knife, I think, came from Amazon, and I believe the mask came from China. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> the ma mask probably came from uh, Amazon too, from one of those Chinese, from the China p places. Not Chinese, China places. All right. All right, so let's find a spot and thread it through. I'm looking at a spot right here, if possible. And if not, I may even take it to the back of the board if I have to, because I really, really want it right there. It might work out, let's see. Because I've already used that one. Let me see if I've got another one. Or let me see if I've got a spot through the board where it can go. Let's see. I really wanted it right there. You know what? Let's try that zip tie and give it a shot. That's the one I used for the mask though. This is the one that gave me, oh now you don't give me a problem. Go figure. He's probably like, I just want you to stop singing. So yes, I like it. People who sing have a happy soul. I do. When I start singing when my four-year-old has a temper tantrum, he's like, stop it, mommy! So, and I just start singing, you are my sunshine. And I just keep going. And he's like, stop it! I'm like, dude, chill, take a chili pilly. All right, I think I want to pull this up just a little. That wire's giving me a little bit of a problem. I may end up redoing that. But it'll get the gist of it for now. All right, let's get that in here. And give it 
a few good twists. Sometimes this little clamper thingy can twist it better than I can when I can't see a single darn thing behind it. All right, and down it goes. Not bad, not bad. There we go. Pull that up a little bit more. And pull that out. Get that up here. All right. So, knife's in place. That's in place. Let me see if I want to do anything else. We are about right there. Like I said, eventually the sign, not that sign though. Um, so I'm looking at some of the stuff that I have over here. And I may not add anything to it. Because that definitely doesn't feel right. No, uh-uh. Nope, I'm not adding anything to it. Okay. Um, the other thing that you could add to it um, and that I was going to include in the kit anyway was you can add sections of this onto it as a, ooh, actually let's do that. Let's add some of this. I like that. Let's see what this stuff looks like too. All right. Let's add some creepy and take that sign off. Like I said, I'm going to get a sign, just not that sign. So I'll have to take that part off the kit for right now because if you guys want the supplies for the kit um, and I don't have a sign done right now, then it's going to be a problem for you. So, all right, let's take a look at what we've got here. It says this thing is like 50, 60 inches. Where? In what country? What do they measure it by? This is not 60 freaking. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. There we go. All right. I think we want to play with this some. Let's play with it. Let's see what we get, y'all. All right. Let's see. Are we golden? There we go. I keep checking because I got to make sure. All right. I think I kind of want to just. You know, I don't know. Let's drape this around a little bit. Let's play with it. How cool is that? All right, let's grab this up. Does my sign look creepy? All right, let me ask you all this. Well, I'm going to make a new sign anyway. How, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you guys think about the sign? I need to redo the sign though, right? I'm assuming so. I think it needs to. That's my personal opinion. But Barbara, I'm glad you're sweet. But I may end up doing it just for a picture for right now. All right. All right. You don't want to put it around him as if he has hair, y'all. Just kind of figure out. And not the whole thing either. I don't even know if I want to use it. It may end up being too, too much for all we know. All right. Let's see. I don't think I want to use the whole thing. I don't know, y'all. I think I have to play with this a little bit. I don't think we need everything. Let's see. I don't know. Too much? Yeah. I really like it, though. Holy crap. I might have to play with it a little bit. Because I do feel like I want to use it. All right. I think I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, I do want to use it. I just want to play around with it a little bit more to see how I want it. But I tell you what, this is still coming in the kits anyway, just because um, I liked it. But you obviously have the option of not using it. Yeah, I know I'm kind of in love with that mesh too. I think I'm going to leave it off. All right, we're going to leave it alone. And you know what? Just for giggles, we're going to attach the sign to it, too. Um, and let's go ahead and get that done. Now, for the sign, I think I'm going to use the larger zip ties. Just so we can see. We're going to call it after this. So, and I need it to go that way. So, let's go this way. All right. I hear the guinea pigs weaking in the background, y'all. They must have heard a rustle, like a, a 
potato bag, potato chip bag or something being open. That tells me that uh, my son may be downstairs stealing potato chips right now. Yeah. There we go. All right. I like it right there. That is where I want, that's where I want it, right there. So, since that is where I want it, let's find a zip tie. Perfect. Found one. I found one down there too, but I think we can go for that one. Let's try this one and see. I don't know. Let's go for that one. Right in there. Yeah, I'm going to play around with that little stuff a little bit more just to double check. All right, and then let's tighten up this zip tie. The mesh isn't going to come out anyway, y'all, so even if there's zip ties in there that you forgot about tightening, it's going to be fine. All right, so now that we've got that in there, all right, let's go ahead and thread it through. I don't know if the if the cable ties on here have time to dry or not. Might have to have another one on here, actually. You know what? I'm just going to use the wire. Screw that. A wire's easier sometimes instead of having to zip tie multiple um, multiple zip ties together to get a sign on. All right, that should be a. Let's cut it right here. Even if we have extra, that's fine. All right, and let's cut it right there. All right, you like the sign? All right, we're gonna keep the sign. I'm a perfection. I guess. I guess it's not perfectionist, actually. I'm anal retentive sometimes when it comes to things. And when I have a certain look inside my head and I can't and I don't get that look from a painting, then I get upset. <laughs> That's just me. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out there like that though. All right, here we go. All right. But yeah, everything. The, the drapey stuff came from Party City, but I, th and, but I think the mask, I got the wire stuck. Come on. The mask came from, um, I think the mask and the knife came from Amazon, y'all. All right, so we're going to get that in there. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, are you being sincere sincere about that? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I have a mouth that sometimes I have a mouth I need to control. I know it. I can't help it sometimes, y'all. I just can't. It just comes out and it is what it is. Hi, Angel. What's up? What's up, Boogaboo? Where are you Dude, I thought I put your Robux on already, honey. This is the third time you act, this is the third time you came in here about that. Now I know what that kid wants. Y'all here, I thought he was being cute and wanting to be on camera with us. He just wants his Robux. <laughs> he just wants his money. I guess it changes. Later he's gonna want gas money, right? <laughs> He says I did not. I did it. Put the twenty on. Twenty? No, honey. I'm gonna count out your money first. I'm not just gonna put twenty bucks on Robux. No, sir. I You're gonna wait. Love you. I I'm gonna double count it. I'm the bank. All right. I'm gonna put this one in here. Why are your shoes on? Hmm. Why are your shoes on? Were you outside? No. Okay, please go put your shoes away downstairs, Angel. Uh oh. Uh, excuse me? Fine. Thank you. Mm hmm. At least he's spelling, y'all. Mm. At least he's not spelling some stuff right. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, sometimes I like to play with wire, y'all. What can I say? All right, so we're gonna tighten that up here. I want it down. I might come back later with it, and that's okay. Let's see here. All right, right about there. All right, now that we've 
decided where we want it. And the great thing here is when, we, when you wire a sign in, you change your mind later, you can always crimp it and move it to where you want it. Yeah, it's a little pain in the booty sometimes to twist when you can't see what you're working on. I got a good twist started, so now let me use these guys. All right. Do, 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 do. Y'all, I'm excited about vacation. We're supposed to, um, we're going to Fort Walton. Uh, the Ethos are gonna stay here. And uh, I'm excited to try some drinks down there. What, what are some good Florida drinks that we can uh, try out? I'm curious about that. Alejandro, please let me finish, honey. Last time. Thank you. Or I won't put your money on. Alejandro, go. Thank you. Oh, Lord, have mercy, y'all. I don't know. Alejandro, I don't know. Wow. Okay. Ah, kids, I swear. I don't like that zip tie, y'all. I want to move it a little bit more. So I'm going to move it a little further in. Not zip tie. I don't like where the um, the wire was at. I don't think it gave me the area that I want. Mobile, Alabama. I don't know if there's any popular like beach drinks that we should uh, try out while we're there. Yeah, I may end up changing that. All right, let me take a look at it. All right. I see what the problem is here. This one needs to be tightened up a little bit, but I think we can make it work for now. So, all right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I want to try something. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to stop touching it now. Now what I want to do, since I'm not, I'm, I might I might end up draping that thing in there later. And there are some leaves. I told you all about the leaves at Hobby Lobby. Um, I do want to add those in there. Um, but since floral does not go on sale till next week, I'm not going to go get them. Bada bing, bada boom. So, I think he is good just the way he is. So all I'm doing at this point is tightening up those zip ties and then just kind of moving the mesh around a little all right there we go perfect and move this one around and even getting a hold of some spiders some spooky spiders would be awesome for this if I have time to go to Party City tomorrow before we head out, I might end up doing that. But right now, I don't have any on hand. All right, there we go. I'm gonna tighten this guy up too. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Cover that part up. Tighten this up. Awesome sauce. <laughs> Are you giving something a bath? <laughs> I don't know what that I don't know what that thing is, but it looks like something's giving a bath. <laughs> so y'all remember if you want to get those flower boards, use code in the ATL um, and you can take 10% off when you go to uniqueinthecreek.com. So grab yourself some inserts and everything else while you're there as well. Um, and then definitely send some likes and some loves. If you're loving Mr. Jason over here, you know he is an eligible bachelor behind door number one. Bachelor number one. Or will it be bachelor number two? Or bachelor number three. So, 
Next week's bachelor is going to be Freddy in the flesh. Not literally in the flesh. So, Lori, you mentioned you had Michael Myers. Are you doing Michael Myers? Are you going to do a live on Michael Myers? Alright, tighten that up. And then all you have to do is just kind of fluff the mesh up a little bit. There we go. And it hides it just fine. You won't be able to see the zip ties from there. And then especially up here, I tightened that one up already. Um, looks like this one got, looks like I tightened them. There, I know there's some hidden on the inside here, but you don't need to worry about them. One, your mesh isn't gonna fall off the board. Um, so you are fine with that. Now what I wanna do, when Facebook backed you up to where you were adding the black and silver mesh. What? Huh. All right, let's, we got a little bit of wire sticking out here. So let's go on that. I'm, me and Facebook, you know what? Who owns Facebook? Mark Zuckerman or something like that? You need to get on top of it, Mark. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of trimmy trimmy here. You could just leave it here and have it add to a look or something like that. But I kind of want to just get rid of a few extra pieces here because otherwise that's going to bother, bother me to no end. Okay. I'm trying to throw some of it away. Some of it's hitting my floor. All right. Don't need to trim all of it, just a little bit. Just the parts that just keep sticking out everywhere. All right, looks like Michael, looks like he just got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I had planned. The reason I was asking you, Lori, is because after I finish up Freddie, I was going to do Michael Myers. So um, I found a mask that I wanted to try, but that's why I want to see. Because if you're doing Michael Myers, I'm not going to infringe on Michael Myers. Do 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 cha cha cha. There we go. And trimmy trimmy here. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I'm going to hold them up. This turned out really, really well, y'all. So let me tell you what you're gonna get in the wreath kit if you decide to purchase it. Or you can just go out and get the supplies yourself. You know, go a different route completely, that's okay too. You are going to get the entire roll, um, wrapped up roll of this garnet colored mesh right here. Um, you are also gonna get the entire roll of the silver black mesh as well. You'll get the mask, You'll get the knife, and, and I was going to put the wood in there for the sign, but if you like the sign, I definitely don't mind making it, and I'm not going to, other than that, I was going to put the wood in there for you so you could make one, because I didn't know if you like my handwriting or not, <laughs> but um, I'm happy to actually write on it for you if you want me to, or I can just send it to you painted yellow as well. And then I was going to send you the, um, the actual, that drapery too. And if you choose to use it, you do. And if you don't choose to use it, that's okay. Maybe you'll use it for a different Halloween wreath too. Um, obviously you get the board as well. So the flower board will come with it as well. So, all right, a few more trimmy trimmies. It feels like I'm giving them a haircut. Speaking of haircuts, I saw the strangest thing on Facebook the other day, and I'm praying it was a joke. I don't know if I can say it on here, though, because let's just say that, you know, women get waxed. Well, apparently there's a haircut place for gentlemen now as well. So, um, and not just for waxing, like an actual haircut place. So I was hoping that that was a Facebook joke. I was like, uh, I'm like, would a guy really go there to get that done? I don't know about all that. All right, I think we are about done. Like I said, you just wanna trim off some of these extra, extra pieces that are just kinda poking out everywhere. Um, because remember, you know, we did use that part, that side of the 21 inch mesh. There we go. I think I'm okay with it now as I continue cutting y'all. <laughs> All right, let me flip them over here. All 
All right. Okay, y'all. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to scroll him out. And yes, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the kits online probably later on this evening and get pictures done because I do have a few orders that I got to finish up. Hey! All right, guys, you ready? Here we go. He turned out cute. Look at that. Let me try to get it so you can see. Nope, that way. Now is it straight? There we go. Now we're straight. And meet Jason. Isn't he a handsome bachelor? Actually, the eye, the, the mesh behind those eyes actually look a little creepy, y'all. <laughs> huh? There we go. Only good comments. So what do you guys think? Love him. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys have sweet dreams tonight because Jason really wants you to have sweet dreams. No, he wants you to have creepy dreams. He wants you to have creepy dreams. <laughs> so, yeah. So he is one good thing. This this thing turned out good. I love it, love it, love it. And the spider idea was perfect. So again, um, I'm going to go through next next week. I'm going to add a few extra things to them. Some spiders would be really cool that you could add to it. Some different types of leaves, real dark colored would be Some a good idea. Some better weapons? Thank you, better weapons. My son says better weapons. So apparently Jason sucks at his weapons. Okay. <laughs> Um, but you know, if you liked it, if you had a good time, definitely click some, show me some loves, show him some likes. Um, in the ATL, guys, flower boards um, or character boards, digital inserts. If you use in the ATL and you go to uniqueinthecreek.com, you can take 10% off of your order there. Um, and I am going to put these kits together for you and have them listed by later on this evening, probably around 8 o'clock. Because like I said, i got to finish up an order and then I have to take my youngest son to dance class. So they will be online later on tonight and I will have two different price points available. So definitely check those out. Um, before we call it in, does anybody have any questions um, about what we did today or the supplies or anything else like that you need to wait a minute because if you guys have questions I can answer them now and if not you guys can always message me so not a big deal so but um all right I think we're pretty cool so until next time um again I'll have the kit posted later on this evening two different price points so I think you guys will enjoy it and um definitely read the listing and these will ship um these will ship out a week after i get back from vacation i get back on monday and um i'm going to finish shipping out the rest of the santa miss claus and frosty kits and then uh towards the end of next week i will ship start shipping these out as well um but yeah i'm going to put them on there tonight and since i only have guys i only have 20. I have 20 rolls of the garnet and 20 rolls of the silver, and I just used one. So that's 19 actually now. Um, so there will only be 19 orders available for this, and then I'd have to wait and place a reorder from my vendor. So um, I think that is it. Um, kits, I'm going to go back and take a look at it, Selena. I mean, Sarah, Selena. I saw Gomez, and I start, started thinking of Selena. I'm sorry, Sarah. Um, but I'm going to take a look at it, and I'll get it on there. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. i got to finish up. There's a storm coming. This guy over here wants me to count out $20 in nickels and dimes. Where's the money that you just gave me? Quarters and dimes. Y'all, this is $20? <laughs> yes. OMG, I need a thingy that I just dump them in and it counts it for me. He wants his Robux money, so I'm about to get busy on this. All right, guys, take care. Have a great afternoon. You guys have questions? You guys let me know. All right, bye, guys. I have a question. Oh, boy, I may or may.